The red sculpture in front of Mount Herzl is usually the first thing that hundreds of thousands of people visiting the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial see as they arrive. But their attention could soon be captured by another, much bigger landmark. A recently presented plan proposes a 40 stories high residential tower designed by the makers of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. For the inhabitants of the Kiryat Hayovel neighborhood, the building project is one of many in a rapidly changing area. Some say the change is going too fast. The project it symbolizes for us all the things that are going wrong in the, around this neighborhood. As part of a local community committee, Nirit gets informed about what's planned in the area. In normal neighborhoods, you would have one program, you know, every several months or every year. Here, it's several times a week. So it's really crazy. Nirit and others in the neighborhood founded a group called Yuvalim 2041 a few months ago to voice their protest. You know the story about um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? You know, you wake up in the morning and there's a bulldozer all over your planet and you just have to grab your towel and run away. So this is the sense of living that we have here, that like we're overrun by a huge bulldozer. But the new plan for a 40 stories tower next to Yad Vashem went beyond what they had imagined. I must uh, stress that people are not against development. We're concerned about the way that this project is being carried out. We lack infrastructure. The city does not provide adequate solutions for transportation, for parking, for parks, for education, for culture, for employment. Someone who would have to live not only with the tower but right next to it is Rivka ben Sasson, who has been in the neighborhood for 28 years. This building is not fitting to this particular place. The architect said it will be an icon of Jerusalem. Here we don't need an additional icon. Rivka fears that the tower would damage the symbolic places of Yad Vashem and Mount Herzl, but something else also worries her. The high tower is supposed to be built on this place, where now there is a Torah school and kindergarten. The problem is, it will attract a lot of rich people from outside of the country, because it will be beautiful and very expensive. People from this neighborhood will not be able to afford it. But Israel's growing population needs places to live. At the present moment, Professor Dani ben Shacha at the University of Tel Aviv estimates a need for 60,000 new living units each year at the current rates. Therefore, he sees little alternative to building higher than three or four floors. But building towers of 30 or 40 floors comes with difficulties, he says. We must remember that there is a population that exists in this place. We don't want to exclude them from the areas in which they live. Therefore, we need to find solutions. Plans for affordable housing can be an option that guarantees, for example, 30% of the apartments to be allocated to tenants who have a lower socioeconomic index and will be able to remain in these same renovated areas that are becoming more expensive. Before anything can be constructed here, the building plans will have to be approved after a consultation process with the public. There's still time for the residents of Kiryat Hayovel to join the discussion about the future of their neighborhood.